Good morning, people. It's still early out here. And, uh, that was really it's supposed to be a nice day today, though. Um, but this is hive number Gem 2 in the nursery. It's a double deep 10. And I took the queen out and made a split to sell. So they're making their own queen now, I hope. I put the, um, a queen, well, they had eggs still in here. So, they're making a queen, and that was on seven, six, anyway, I'll let you know at the end. But this first one here, I took it out and decided I'd make just a video of it. So this is one that we made a split in. That's honey, both sides. Well, nectar, it will be honey. So they say they're not going hungry this year. Okay, I can see now too. Take, take this one out. This one was put in at April the 25th. And due to the lack of um, honey flow, that's what it's got. But they're working on it hard. Mm -hmm. I see one beetle down here. If I can get to them through the bees. Well, it had a couple more bees, so we may have to do some more bee stuff with it. I mean, beetles. So we're going to have to do some more bee uh, stuff, beetle stuff. stuff. Y'all know what I mean. Okay. And this right here will tell you something. This, this part right here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's leaning to this side, and you got the fishing line right here, so they're building it a little bit crooked. Hope y'all can see that. So I'm going to turn it around, I think, and that's because I didn't level up that hive properly. But we'll level it up, and they'll straighten that out the best they can. But you need to level it. I keep my level and my shims with me. Sometimes I forget to level it, most of the time. Usually after we do the video, I'll level it up. This one here has uh, some nectar, a little bit of drone cells. Now remember, we need drones to pollinate the queens. Okay, that's about the oldest on that one. Same thing both sides. And we're going to flip it back the other way. Get them all heading in the same direction. I only had, what, seven, eight frames in this 10 frame box. This is a 10 frame box. Only had eight frames in there. Right then. I don't know. I just didn't put the other ones in it because I was busy making that split. And I forgot. You get old, you forget people. I know some young people that forget the same. This one here has some drones, some honey, some nectar, some pollen.
This one here has the same thing. No brood, no eggs. No queen cells. So we may put them another thing of eggs in here. We're not done yet, are we? And they're building them out a little fat. It's still supposed to get heat index of over 100 today, though. This one here has got honey and nectar, and they're just doing a wonderful job. I won't give them any food. Might give them some pollen. That's that one. Same thing both sides. It is heavy. And I extracted some honey yesterday from, uh, I think it's 340 over there. I'm going to put another frame right here. Or not. I might just leave it spaced out like that. Put one on the other side. See, that's fat frame, so you got to put them in so they're not squishing up against the one right beside it. Now that one, I can take this one. I put this one there and this one there and it would fit better. Why don't you do that, Sam? Because you're making honey. This one here is filled up with nectar and honey. It ain't got nothing else to do. It doesn't have any babies the best with, queen the best with. So, they just do honey. Okay, come on. Got a little dead squish girl there. Part. Well, they can finish doing their honey thing. May even put another frame or two in there. Okay, this one has honey and nectar. This one has the same thing. There's a lot of people with 10 frame hives and that's about what I do with a 10 frame hive when they're not building on the outside I think that outside one like that one and I'll put it here it won't be on the outside anymore then I'll stick this one here I'll come out here, spray these out just a little bit. I know I like eight frames with eight frames, but with this one I kind of forgot about it. But we can fix it if I can pick it up. Oh. There's that one. We're gonna look at it, see what we find now. People said, well, 
Bees are angry because they don't have a queen. Well, these don't have a queen, but they're not angry. I'm not, that's not, see, they're not angry. They're good bees. But I'm smoking them so they'll get on down there a little bit and get off of this edge. So I don't hurt none of them when I roll them. Or if I roll them. I don't plan on rolling them. But smoke that outside and if there's a queen out there, this one doesn't have a queen. But if there was a queen out there, you'd have a good chance of rolling her with all those bees. And this one here, they're doing just a fantastic job on it. They'll get to it, but that's the outside frame. Now we'll put it in here somewhere so they can build more foundation. And we might put a foundation frame in there. That way they can use the honey that they're bringing in, or the pollen they're bringing in, to fill that frame up, about that one. Fill that frame up, instead of, uh, they can fill the frames up with honey instead of using them for, building out frames. I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. It's early for me this morning. The lady coming over, she wanted to come over at 9 o'clock and pick up a nuke. And Sam being Sam, he said, okay, we'll be there. Y'all notice there's no beetles so far except that one frame that I got them all off of. Let me look at this one. Well, that's got a couple. Something getting me up there. I don't know what it was. Put these back over here. Did I check this one? New. I think so. Okay, this one here has some nectar, some brood, not brood, pollen, and that's all drone cell, so what we're going to do with it, they're filling it up with honey, at the bottom here, no beetles, we're going to take it, stick it, on the end. Nah. We'll just leave it like that. That way they don't have to guard all this over here and they can build on it if they want to. Catch me some more beetles. Was out here the other day and Looking at them and the beetle ran across the top, the bee picked it up and run off with it, flew off with it. I thought that was great, but that's the only thing a bee can do with a beetle. Can't hurt them. Kind of like an armored tank and the bees got a 22 rifle. And they raid them, can't hurt them. The beetles are kind of like an armadillo or a tree beetle. Y'all have seen them and they got that big old shell around them. This one here has got nectar, honey, and bees. Okay, the bottom doesn't have a split, so we don't even have to worry about that part. See any black moths or anything. Mm. 
And you're gonna add some nectar, some pollen. See no queen cells though. This here is the foundation that they're well building on. Here's a good foundation. Got a half and half with beetle, I mean worker brew, drone brew, they're bringing in some nectar. I would say the bottom clean, but it's a screen bottom board. It's a board underneath it. Cause I run out of 10 frame bottoms, solid. Okay, this is empty, this is empty, that one's empty. So we're gonna take this one and set it back here. See, they don't have, kinda like if the bees is in a big warehouse, or you were in a big warehouse, and you were guarding this big warehouse. And you had all these little individual walls in there, like this. And you had to keep, you had to inspect. And that's going to take you a long time, a lot to do. Whereas, if you were in the same size building, and there was no walls, and you were in the middle, you could sit at your little desk, watch your TV, listen to your radio, radio reading your paper, or your bee book, and uh, you wouldn't have to get up. You could see it from everywhere. The bees, the same thing. Okay, break time. Getting hot out here already. I'll be back. It's been 20 minutes. Y'all need to stop. Bye. Y'all give us a thumbs up, comment, share. Let us know what you're doing, what I'm doing, what would y'all do, and we'll talk with you later. Y'all be careful out there. Like I said, we're going to come back tomorrow and do something with these. Don't put them in a nuke box. Double deep nuke. I'm going to uh, put them in double deep eight. Probably a new. That way we can see the queen if she's in here better. Don't we girls? You got everything you need. You got stores, you got food. Faderine wants to go with us. And you can't save them all, people. I'm going to put this back on there. Okay. 
Okay. Y'all give us a thumb up, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all would do if y'all had this hive. That'll help me out. I'm going to close up the front. No, we'll do that tomorrow too. Getting late. I'm getting hot. Tired. Uh, but y'all take care of yourselves. Be careful out there. Be safe. Watch your mother drivers and yourself this weekend. I'm not going to be out there, so be safe. But anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. Give us a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and tell others. And we'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.